Hi, in this module we will talk about right-click menu structure. So uh, in the basic video we talked about simply making the right-click and, and having a menu item on running and in this case I put in order. Uh, right now we will not focus on what you can do with the menu item but just what you can actually do in, in terms of creating them. So you can basically create uh, as many menu items as you want. So you can press the add uh, button down here and create some menu items. Um, and once we do, you can see we get three menu items in here instead. Um, you can move them around if you want to. If you need a new menu item, it will always be at, at the bottom. But if this was the menu item you wanted higher up, you can go in, select it, and then use the move up and move down. So if I do it like this, we of course see that three is before one and two. You can of course click one and delete it uh, if needed, uh, but else you can make uh, them into different sections. So we can do up to three levels of, uh, of menu items. So we can do something like this. Let me first move them so it's easier to understand. Uh, one, two, three. And let's make it like this. So this one goes in here and this one goes in there. So now we, we would imagine that we got menu item at one, menu item two, menu item three. Um, that will actually not be the case. Or oh. you can see we only get menu item three. So why is this? Um, this is because SAP sees that, well, he only have one menu item anyway under all this. So I think it's easier to just give him that menu item directly. So making these levels only makes sense if you actually have multiple uh, of them. So if I, for example, do something like this, so we have two options under the, the last level, because why would you make a level if you only have one thing anyway? So let's check again here. So now it says menu two with menu three and four in it. Again, because menu one actually really don't uh, have anything other than that one menu item. So it will take away, stir away the things that doesn't really make sense in in, it, in its mind. It's not, not something we can change. So uh, there's not really nothing we can do about it. But as soon as we get two menu items in there, you can see menu item two, 2 came along with menu item 2 and 3 and so on. So it is possible to make up to these levels. Uh, if you try to go beyond that, it will simply tell you you can't indent this further because it's not needed. Oh, we are, we're not supporting if you if, if someone at some point needs 4 or 5 levels, uh, we will uh, support it uh, if needed. But it's not really something that makes so that much sense. Um, also, you need to uh, remember that once you move things, there's some certain rules. For example, this menu item tree, I cannot really move it up anything because there's nothing to move it up to. If I wanted to get it above something, I first need to make it out into the system. So now it's actually not under menu item two anymore. And now I can move it up and get it above menu item three. So imagine it as a tree and it makes sense you need to get out of the, the level before you can actually move things up and down. Um, so this is uh, the way the system works. Uh, you can put a, it will give you some notes when it have these special things where something don't uh, don't show the, the other menu items, but Essentially, if you're in a real case scenario building up your menu, it makes sense uh, what, what's going on here. You can uh, at any point go in and say, I don't want this menu item uh, for, for level. And there you can see the notes come that this menu item will not be shown because its parent is, is, uh, is inactive. So that would mean that we only see menu item one, three, and five. So 
one, three, and five. Um, and that's basically it. You can move them around as you want. You can up and down and, and according to the rules. So you can make the structure of here's the navigation menu items, here's the reporting menu items if needed. So uh, with that, thank you for attending the session and uh, I hope you make a lot of good menu structures.